Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Dapadel in the, uh, the Awakening. Now, the last couple of uh, episodes have seen us go through some tricky situations, to be sure. Um, they weren't they weren't incredibly uh, <laughs> welcoming, some of them. But, by and large, we're doing fairly well for ourselves right now. We've made a whopping great amount of very, very good items recently. And we may continue to do something similar. We're certainly at least going to be here until we've finished making the, uh, the rings and armor that we've got. We've now got a smithy. So, as a direct result, we're able to make much, much better items. Uh, much, much faster because we have significantly better um, craftspeople working on it. Uh, you can go down there and work there. That should do for now. Uh, we could make some other things. We could even have some hmm, meat stew. Sure, let's make some meat stew, shall we? Uh, let's make, we'll make some more, some... Uh, are we making that on the infinite? We are, actually. Ah, oh, that makes sense. We, we've got a ridiculous amount. Um, so I'll go ahead and make... Well, no, don't do that. Uh, don't. There we go. Uh, that being said, it is technically something we could make nearly, nearly, nearly infinitely. So, sure. Okay, we'll do that. All right, we've not got any other buildings that we want to make just yet. Um, not for a while, at the at the very least. In terms of the herbalist hut, do we actually have a herbalist hut that has uh, a tracked elf? Yes, we do. So we've got a tracked elven, a tracked goblin, and a tracked orc so far. We do not have a tracked dwarf. We've also got three on a tracked human. Uh, it's, not, it's not the best thing in the universe, but uh, we can we can get past that one. I think we can we can look past it. What do we make this one out? Dark wood and bone. I wonder what we would get if we made it out of dark wood and monster bone. Because we now have quite a lot of that. Uh, where is the dark wood? There we are. Track goblin and attract beast. Five attract beast. Hmm. If only I had checked uh, the mithril on that one before we uh, used anything else. That would have potentially been quite... Quite nice. That would give us attract human, a lot of attract human, not something we want. Nope, nor that. Uh, still attract human. Yeah, it doesn't really help us out there at all. But this is a particularly good building to, to try and attract something with. Hmm. We could go for that. Certainly a possibility. Uh, I don't believe there's ever any quality for this, so for example, we could use gold there, it really wouldn't make any difference, so you may as well just use basic wood. We could go for Monster Bone and have a tracked beast. Hmm. What kind of bonus are we currently getting from our haul? Let's have a look. 222. Two, two. So we wouldn't actually lose anything out, we'd just improve it. Might be worth it. Yeah, I think I think it probably is worth it. Let's go ahead and rebuild this with monster bone then. We can always gather some more dark wood when we're out and about next time. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to get rid of the other one first then. Still, that'll give us thirty-six um, research points, which would be very, very much appreciated. Yes, break that down. And then go ahead and try and rebuild it. In before we get a child grow up just as we're about to finish building this. There we are. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Very nice. This one will actually give us a big, big jump in our quest there. I hadn't pre uh, anticipated that, but I very much welcome it. I assure you. Uh, who would be the next per best person? We'll pop you there. Okay, well, we'll pass a couple of turns to get all of those things made before we head out again. Uh, what have we got? Some iron this time. I always like to try and keep abreast. Some monster bone. Appreciated. 
The night was restless, okay. filled with uneasy dreams and strange sounds rummaging through the village. Oh dear. Begin the day, perhaps for once nothing bad happened. As the sun oh, no. finally rose, you began your day's chores, and all seemed fine, but alas, it was not so. Within hours, you discover dead animals lying by the village well, and soon after, people begin feeling sick. Your well has been poisoned. I have all the water thrown out and the well boarded up. Without water, your people will not survive long, not while they are ailing. But you also need to clean your well to restore order. One of your rangers marks two spots on the map. One location, with the right herbs to help the poisoned, but they are just herbs, so may not help everyone in time. Or the second location, where you can find a water spirit. The spirit has the power to cleanse your well and heal your people. But remember, spirits are fickle creatures and could trick you. We'll go for the herbs this time, so I think. you will likely only get to one in time. Somebody said I can show the different quests. That is not far. Okay, we uh, finished a cool piece of equipment. This is a rather nice piece of armor there. Ox herd. It's a little bit low for you, but uh, we'll give you much higher stealth. How about you? Mm, I think I kind of like what you've got right now. Uh, you've already got decent stealth. Could you equip it? You could, so yeah. We'll, we'll switch that out. That's actually a decent upgrade. But obviously we need to go and make a new expedition. So let's first none and then we want heavily poisoned. Anyone who is heavily poisoned is automatically in this group. Have to come with us. Sorry, I know, I know you don't want to. You're busy, you got things to do, places to be, people to see, buildings to build. Alas, you need to though. Everyone else okay? Yes, Sean, you're coming along because I need a medic there. Uh, we are... Well, actually, Obsidian Mist, Kenneth, you're good, Sean. Evil friend, the only person who has not uh, been well equipped for us. Still, you seem to be decently equipped, actually. So yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, let's bring along a little bit of uh, wood. We don't need 10 turns wood. And uh, we'll grab enough food to get us to the herbalist and back. There we are. Good enough. Right, on our way we are. And let's get out there. Oh dear. Well, that was unfortunate, to say the least. Uh, sure, you me as well, I guess. There, and over here. And there we go. Alright, continue on. We've got some more monster bombs. Wow, he really wants to give us monster bombs at the moment. Okay, let's get in there and see what we can do. You approach the beast, and you have time to decide your plan of action. Uh, we could go for hunting, or... Well, we'll go with hunting, I think. Get to hunting. I'm surprised that this is a hunting challenge. I was expecting this to be a hex challenge, honestly. But I approve. Ouch. Uh, that was kind of hurt, but and I, that was my own fault. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of some cards. Uh, okay, they're going to play. All right. Could we get a shield there? Because you're going to wipe out one or t'other. Uh, and that'll be fine. Let's get you in. Sure, let's get everyone in. This is not a particularly well-balanced group, to be fair. Okay, if you attack the other way... Ah, that's a shame. I was going to say, if you attacked in the other direction, that would have been grand for us, but uh, alas, no. But Oxherd is easily going to be able to, to deal with the uh, incoming damage there. Play his turn. Good, evil friend. Then bubbles. And we win. In fact, we would have won just with the evil friend. Uh, you track down the prey and lead it right to the traps. Ooh. Uh, it's not as, as interesting as I thought it was. Good, take the loot and continue. Alright, let's get in there. Go visit the you herbalist. You find the solitary hut of the herbalist. It is a small wooden abode with a straw roof and smoke coming out of the chimney. There is a distinct smell of herbs and medicines in the air. An elderly lady walks out from the house to greet you. Welcome, travelers. What brings you to my home? 
Well, we were told you can cure any poison or wounds. Yes, indeed I can, but I haven't survived as long as I have by running a charity. If you wish to be healed, you will do me a favour. Beware, for healing wounds I require food and wood as payment, as well as a favour. But I am warning you, even if you fail the favour, I still take the goods. Mad. Poisons are cheaper, Clear. I only require a favour. So, do you need to be cleansed of a poison or wounds? Well, I mean, in terms of the wounds... Uh... Wouldn't be bad, but I don't think we really need it. So we'll just go with the poison. I cleanse your blood from the venom that infects it, but I need a favour. You see, I play this game with my friend. It is a tactical game. We both have an army made of wooden models, and we built this mock-up map. And, well, our armies fight against each other. But, you see, I had a bit too much mm, herbal medicine <laughs> and cannot think straight. I will get well. myself sober and you play the game. If you win, I'll give you the cure. If you lose, well, you know, I won't. Deal? It's completely, completely fair. Deal. Well, this one should not be difficult for us. Sean is especially good at these particular types of battles. Now I can see what type of card. Let's go for counter-offense. Get rid of you. There we are. Now I would like Sean to be... Hmm. Yeah, go for a shield. Following that, I would like you in place. You're, and you're fine. I will give you a shield anyway, but you're completely fine. Then Kenneth, an evil friend, behind. There we go. Didn't even manage to break through your shield. Well done. And there's just one of you. Uh, once again, Sean in play. And then, can I, have we got anything we can just buff you with? No. That's fine. We don't need to. Sean will actually, uh, well, if Sean had been wounded, Sean would have been healing through this. Because that does still heal them. That heals their health. Well done. You did your part, so I will do mine. Even though it's just Here, a tactics take battle. This. Drink it whole and try not to gag. Now, time for me to get back to work. Come back if you ever need help again. Thank you. There we go. Nice and simples. Heading back to Dapadel, because I would like to finish up all of the crafting before we do anything else. Also, we've got some awesome things there. Uh, let's get in. And we've got a new ring. Now then. Uh, where are you, Zen Sequita? There we are. Here you go. Perfect. Now, well, it's not like we've got much better equipment to give you, honestly. But um, I could at least give you this. There we go. So you've got some extra dexterity there. Uh, yeah, I think think that weapon by itself is a fairly decent one. I could give you something even more crazy, but don't think there's much need. No, I think we're think we're fine there. Uh, we do need to set up our production though, so let's get everyone back to helping with this. There you go. And if anyone else can help, let's get all of you over there. There we are. It's glorious because even someone without any crafting skill at all is now, you know, a passable crafter in this town. There we are. We've got some bird meat this time. And a new fantastic ring that will allow someone to be able to carry much, much more. Like this. Now up to 250. Ah, so good. Uh, I mean... It's only slightly overweight. That is much higher damage, but doesn't have the poison. Still, that takes your damage up to a solid 20, considering that you're relatively a weak character. That's actually pretty cool. We have gotten ourselves some leather. We have finished the haul. We've made a new um, piece of armor. Oh, so good. So good. Uh, right. You don't need it. Like, you'll never need it. Sean, let's get you buffed a little bit more, shall we? 
It's not actually that far off, ironically. But let's get you this. There you go. Now, for Fitz, I'm thinking this would be a fairly good piece of kit for Fitz. Yeah. Rivsung. I would lose a lot there, actually. Uh, so would you. You, however, would not lose quite as much. Still, not exactly what I want you to have. You'd lose a little bit of shielding, but you'd become so much more stealthy, and I think that would be more useful to me. Yeah. Yeah, ultimately, I think that was uh, that's the better option there. Do want to get you a shield. Really want to get you a shield. So, on that note, how about we go and make you one? Have we got enough enchanted bones? No, just shy of enough enchanted bones. Hmm. Could go with dragon. Give you even more life leech. Or we could give you some more dexterity. That would certainly be welcomed. What about Mithril? 14.5. Nah, let's keep with this. So one dexterity, three leech, ten shielding, ten armor. Not a bad shield, but it's very weighty. Hmm. Dragon bone is just so heavy, though. I uh, could use this. It'll drop the armor a little bit, but we'll drop the weight a tad as well. We'd lose the dexterity buff. It's a difficult choice, but I think we're going to go with this. Scale shield. Nothing like dragon scale to ward off unwanted attacks. Indeed. Pop that up there. And you can get to work on that. Oh, of course, yes, we didn't spend this. Now, do we want to spend it is the question there. I could save up for some other things. I could even start making my own bows, which would be quite useful. The totem. Children could become witches if we wanted. Uh, that would be nice. Have a look at you. What could we make it out? Oh, my lord. We use a lot of dark wood to make that. Or a lot of monster bone. Uh... No, I don't think we're going to go with that one. Could go to spears, I suppose. Or as I said, ranged weapons or even artifacts. Now, artifacts would be quite handy. If for no other reason than we'd be able to make... Um, we'd be able to use it to just gain um, points. Could go with gold to build a new smithy as well. Or, as I said, we could save up. Uh, I think I would like to save up for Obsidian. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to wait on that one. So, we've got some mushrooms there. Got another skull ring. Fantastic. Uh, let's get... Uh, you don't need the help there. But that skull ring can now be equipped. So let's go and find someone who might make use of it. Uh, let's see. Obsidian. Yeah, let's give this to you. Oh, we're going to have to take it off first and then equip it, which is annoying that it works out the way, but eh, we can live with it, I'm sure. And then you can have that. That gives you, yeah, quite a lot of nice things, actually. How close are we? We're a ways off yet. That is a bit of a problem. Okay, well, let's have a look at some other things we can make then. So, jewellery. We could try to make... Gathering a will. Gathering a medic. Um... Medic Folklore. Ooh, now that one is actually a bit more interesting. We can't get magic, though. Which is just a massive shame. That one is a lot of stuff. Mountain Heart Amulet. Torn from the very heart of the mountain, this mithril am amulet is bound to keep you rock solid. Silver would give us stealth. That actually gives us quite a lot of nice things. The silver brooch pretty on your chest and may help to ward off those pesky night creatures, or so they say. Hmm. 
We could have dark wood. Some folklore. Actually, I kind of like that. It's a little bit weighty, mine, but we could make a few of them, I fancy. Yes, let's get a couple of these. How many could we make? We could make nine of them. That is actually really excessive. Let's drop that down to five. And we'll see how that goes. Let's share people out a little bit. There we go. I think that's everyone doing something. Okay. We're going to keep going for a little bit. There we are. Uh, it's going to take us a while to get there, though. All right, equipment-wise. All right, let's have a look at you. All right, it's pretty gorgeous. Nine life leech. How much has our vampire got? Eleven. Okay, it, you haven't overtaken our vampire in terms of life leech, but you're pretty high up there, to be fair. That is kind of crazy. Uh, all right, what did we get from the well? We got some more coal. Not too bad. Two silver brooches in one turn. My goodness. Let's go and see who can equip these. Uh, you've got sturdiness. It's kind of a really bad little trinket, that one. Whereas this one is just like so much better in so many ways. So, sure, let's get that on you. Uh, Travis. Are either of these particularly bad? Uh, yeah, that one's actually bad. So, let's get rid of that one as well. Wow. That's genuinely quite amazing. Let's make another two, hopefully. There we are. Some string this time. We're going to have to make some more. Honestly, those brooches are just fantastic. So, yeah, make all of them that you can. They are absolutely fantastic things. Sean, you can't replace the... Well, maybe I could take one off. No. No, you can't. So, let's do that. It is a shame, I know. I mean, fit. What's your folklore at? Two. Well, you can have one, at least. Oxherd. Folklore. Gathering. I mean, you've got decent ones. Ooh. Austria could benefit from it. If nothing else. Sure, we've got a couple of people who've got... Um, items, but they're not particularly useful to them. Kenneth has got them. Mm. Sure, Fitz, you can have it. But now. Another turn. Another one brooch made. Let's go and get this onto Fitz, I think. Well, no, I, I don't want Fitz to have two of them. I don't think that would necessarily be a good one. Um, That one sturdiness, not worth you having. But being able to just pass these out now is actually really, really good. What did we get in our... Well... Ooh, three, encha three enchanted bow. I think that sounds like a shield being made. Verily, I do. There we are. And... Sure, let's go for... Mithril on this one, so we've got a very nice high chance. Yes, please. And right to the top. Let's get you working on that. That should, I think, get us all we need. By the wailing wraiths. They are a force of pure darkness. Only. A menacing wave of tormented souls who seek nothing but the destruction of all life. It seems they have become more frequent of late, more angered and active for some reason. Now, I don't know how difficult this one is. I, I can remember dealing with this with hex spells a long time ago uh, but i don't remember how strong our magic protection was at the time but we're going to try it we've got everyone here so let's Those go for who it know the mystical ways of magic create a protection spell it holds much of the evil at bay but you still need to fight or lives will be lost well we can do a three star hex or just a regular two star physical now that we've done that but i'm nobody's now more willful just straight up you get that for free for doing the hex Let's have a see. Now, for hex ones, we need magic for this. So we've got one person with magic of five. And lots of people with the ability to, to basically um, shield people. Magic of five there, seven, two. And the problem is we've got so many people here. There's five people who won't be able to take part in this fight. 
because we can only take 16. That's one of the difficulty settings that I've set. So we're going to try the folk ritual here. You know an old ritual <laughs> that involves amazing. a test of your endurance and strength. But if successful, you can ward off the wraiths. Okay, begin the ritual. That's just awesome. So for doing one, then deciding to do the other, we've got two people with these. Generally speaking, if you do a hex ritual, you're going to get more... Like, hex rituals give the best rewards, more or less. Um, but because we had so few people with magic that it was conceivable that just by bad luck, all of them wouldn't be involved in the fight. Yeah, no. We were going to have to jump into this one. And normally. Uh, have we got anything with piercing? We do not. But we should have plenty of people with counter um, offense. Oh. Well, well, well. Okay, we'll take you out there with that then. And then counter tactic. There we go. That's fine. Uh, can I confuse? Do I have anyone with confuse? No. Well, I, I mean, I do, but no point in worrying about it. But yes, as you can see, we've got stupid amounts of people here. We don't have to worry at all. Quite a lot of them actually have the means to uh, absorb health, which is kind of cool. Let's get every one of our. Uh, combat cards into play, I think. There we go. And we'll just play with that. It really won't matter. There we go. Wow. Isham Gamer is fantastically powerful. Your willpower proves stronger than the malicious force Everyone of the Raven Raids. This time, none of your people died, and some feel blessed. If we had the tree... Then that's it. Whilst they were in the in the town, they would have all of this. And Kenneth is just now naturally better armored. Good. Let's hope this doesn't happen again soon. Indeed. Two more brooches. Let's go and equip these. That was that was actually genuinely amazing. Um, well, I mean, we don't need lose. We lose one gathering and three faint. I think I'd rather keep it. Uh, if I'm honest, two sturdiness, one backstab, one armor. Two gathering, one sturdiness. We'll swap one sturdiness out, sure. Kenneth, you're good. In Sequitur, you need that strength. It's hard for me now to tell, simply because I can no longer easily see what their actual strength is. It's kind of a pain, but oh well. So very close. Once more, I think. There we go. Perfect. We have got two. So now we can choose a few things. We could go for construction. We could go for the tree and preserve that blessing if we wanted to. I don't think we will here, though. Uh, we could even get heavy armor now. There, we've got a couple of people who can make use of heavy armor, but we don't really have the, the materials for that. We could go for obsidian. Now, there's no no guarantee it's going to be anywhere close and it's going to be a hard one to dig up we could go for scaled leather or we could go for ancient wood now, ancient wood is basically upgraded dark wood um it's very good makes some really really viciously poisoned weapons uh, could of course go for silver as well there's a couple of options here but it really is only the, the level 2s that I'm thinking of. So it's between Obsidian and Ancient Wood. I, I'm i going to say Obsidian because we constantly lack good building materials. So there we are. Let's hope that we can find it somewhere nearby. Oh my lord. So far away. That's the nearest one as well. Ugh. That was unfortunate. Truly, truly unfortunate. Oh well. But there we are. Sean has now got six magic. That is glorious. It is a good quality shield as well. So 12 shielding, 14 armor, six magic. That works out quite well for us. Very, very well indeed. Now, it does mean that Sean will lose one medicking. Which isn't the best thing in the universe. <sighs> no, I, ca I can't afford to, to throw that away. But I can give it to you. Now, you've got a massive bonus to your strength right now, so we can't assume that this is going to work, but uh, I will give you the mace instead. There we are. Uh, that will help out a little bit. 
I'm nobody. I actually kind of like what you've got there. I will replace that though. Oxhead. Kind of like what you got. Bubbles. Yeah, still liking it. That I don't mind losing. So let's swap those out. Now let's see if anyone doesn't have equipment. Yeah, there's a few. That's uh, sturdiness and gathering. Sure. For Jason, that won't be too bad. Uh, Spizzle. You'll get what's left. There we are. Okay, it's time for us to start uh, forming a party and getting back out there to do some uh, some work around the place. It is a shame that it's going to be so far away to get the obsidian. Like a massive shame, but there's nothing much we can do about that. So, time for us to make a new expedition. Also, have I made sure that we're not burning all of the good stuff? Oh my lord. Don't need all of these there. Right, new expedition. What are we going to call these ones? Um... Hmm. Bit of foreshadowing there. Uh, evil friend, you're with us. Sean, you're with us. Fitz, also with us. Rifsung, with us. Um, Liam, Obsidian, Kenneth. We will take Bubbles, Oxherd, I'm Nobody, Itchum Gamer, Zen Sequita, and Kijikun. It's going to be a very potent group. There's a very potent group. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. So it does still mean we're going to get more people in our, our combat deck than in our tactics deck, which is the main thing that I want there. All right, let's go for 20 turns worth of wood and then a lot of turns worth of food. It's actually quite a large group. I should bear that in mind. I'll give them 50 of this because we've got so much of it. There we are. Let's keep going. I'm going to give you 50 of this as well. There we go. All of those. We will take 60 vegetables with us. 60 meat with us. Uh, 60 grains with us as well. There we go. And hopefully we can just get more on the road. There we are. Alright. Not bad at all, I think. Not bad at all. Uh, we've got a little bit of extra grain from our battle too. Okay, so where are we off to next then? Well, got enchanted... Well, no, we've got monster bone down there. Where was the enchanted bone? Is it off in this direction, perhaps? No, oh, it's granite. Where is our enchanted bone supply? Oh, right over there. Well, that's what we want. We want more magic, basically. If we want to head down there, we might eventually, because there's the giants in that direction. But for now, we're going to be going off and completing some more quests. So, we've got the divine quest over there. We've got a place of interest over here. Sure, let's uh, head out in that direction for now. There we are. And let's also make sure we're not just gobbling down supplies we don't need. Wait. Uh, we'll keep the least numerous supplies for the longest. Uh, okay, so you're going to be used. Are there any things around here I can gather? No. Uh, well, in that case, we may as well move a little bit further. All right, let's make sure that everyone in Dapadel is doing something of use. Uh, right now, we've got a lot of people doing that, so... But, well, we don't actually need these, so... No, don't worry about it. Instead, just make me more items, I guess. We could just use monster bone and wood to make something that will give us nothing. So don't. Don't bother. Uh, what about regular leather? Yeah, we'll get one point out of it. It's not necessarily a bad thing. You use scale leather, honestly, though, for a five shielding. And we could get some dexterity out of it. We could go for dark wood, a pavise, uh, a lighter wood, dew drops. Yeah, I'm actually all aboard making a good number of these. Crack on. Let's get you making this as 
often as you can for as long as you can and pretty much get everyone working on building things for now that'll keep a, a slow trickle of more research points coming into us so with that let's end the turn what did our well give us uh, just some regular wood it's fine right place of interest you find a secluded patch of greenery where amongst many weeds and brambles grow rare herbs that can help cure any poison. The trick is, only plants harvested at the right time will prove of any use. You must therefore find the right ones and pick them fast to take them back to your village. Lucky for you, your herbalist knows their stuff. Hooray! Let's do this. Intel intellect challenge. Only four. It's going to be super easy. Uh, let's just get a couple of people in play. Oh, of course I should have taken those cards out, actually. Never mind. Yeah, again, it's still going to be super easy. Let's take you all down. Uh, are you into play? Have I got counter tactics of a sufficiently high level? No, I don't. Uh, but I do have confuses of a sufficiently high level. Let's get a bunch of you in. And then the first person I can move forward and go ahead. Next person I can move forward. And then at this point, just go for... I did have decent counter-offense, actually. Go with Folklore. Support allies. There we are. Fantastic work, everyone. There we go. Not too bad. Though that was actually a harder challenge. You I found a good amount of the healing herbs, and back home, your people will be able to maximize their effect. Most of your people should now be safe from any poison. Hooray! Not that we needed it. I could go and check out the divine quest if we wanted to. We have a fairly competent group. It's very tempting. I think we might try. Uh, we've got some spiders here. We may as well deal with them. Oh, we can't. Very well. Let's get to a little bit of gathering then while we're here. There we are. And sure, we'll just get that bit gathered too. So, monster bone. Got a dewdrop shield. Do we have anyone who needs it? Who can even equip it? Uh, it's inferior except on shielding where it's crazy well no it's, it's fine that shield they've got is is just better i should have given these out uh, i equipped them on on my character so long ago that i forgot to uh check again whether we had better options for people my fault i'll have to try and remember that though I, i'm probably not going to i'm going to be honest uh let's break camp Get out there, we'll go... You know what, let's try... Let's find out a sickness. You prepare to brew a potent poison, one that will surely slay any beast. Okay. Yeah, it's just a cure sickness challenge. Excellent. In that case, we do, as it happens, have very, very powerful characters for this. Uh, What level was that? Counter tactic? Have we got anyone with decent counter offense? No. Counter tactic, get rid of that card. Um, confuse. And uh, we'll just play our cards. Frankly, there's really not much of, a, of anything we need to worry about here. We'll get in some pretty potent cards and then we'll end the turn. We don't have much in the way of support skills, though. One thing I'm noticing for these particular challenges. Not bad. This one can be broken down immediately, but uh, well, to be honest, we're not using those, so we'll break those down as well. All right, there we go. Okay, this may be a difficult one, but we've got a good you group find here. Find the place imprinted in your minds by the professors. It is an old tower that seems to reach the very skies. Its surface is pure ivory, yet strangely shimmering as the sun rays hit its smooth surface. Going closer. As you move closer, you see a balcony that looks unsettlingly like a large skeletal hand. And in its palm, there stands a tall, hooded man. 
while a young girl cowers behind him. The man speaks in a clattering, hard voice. Halt! Who goes? Uh, right, we've got a lot of options here. We can skip the story, we're not going to, because obviously I want to share this with you, but I do know what the story is. Easy there. We're here searching for answers, and we were told this is the place for us. We have come a long way seeking a way to restore power to our gods. Do you know of what we speak? Or we have been directed here from the university. Ah, no, do not pick this one. Bad. Here we go. Restoring power to your gods, a grand task indeed. The Oracle knows much, that much is true. And how exactly did you find your way here? And who are you? You speak of the Oracle. Is it her hiding behind you? Or We were sent here by the professor of the Grand University. We followed the path set out by our deity. The steps are unimportant. This is probably the best one. If you mention the Grand University, I mean, actually, this one might open up a little bit more of the lore. Basically, the Grand University uh, were kind of scallywags. We'll mention it and just... This might make a, a future test a little difficult, but... The Grand University. I should have known they will try to meddle again. Um, death was not enough for those homicidal traitors. So what did they want you to find out this time? How to drain all water from our soil? Or perhaps they've decided that air is really not necessary for human life. Hey, calm down. We have no love for those squirmy nerds. We had a vision from our deity that led us to them. And then they in turn told us to come here and seek further answers. Take it you are not a fan. Uh, yeah, chill out there. We do not work for them, nor do we seek any answers to take back. All we need to know, uh, all we need is to help to restore divine power, okay? Hey, calm down. They have been cursed for a century. I think they've learned their lesson. No, I'm not sure about that, but uh, we'll go with this, the first one. My apologies. They have wronged this young girl beyond reason, and the very mention of their existence still pains me. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, it was for posterity, you see. I needed to record your, your story to, to pass it on through the internet. For generations to come. What did the professors do to her? These so-called scholars took it upon themselves to judge what means justify the end. They knew they could never achieve their goals without magic, the hypocrites. And so they discovered Ileana as a mere child. She had an amazing gift of premonition, but more than that, she was also pure-hearted and devout to the Pantheon. As such, her link to the gods was almost direct. In fact, it is said that her father may be Perrin himself. Something about his lightning striking Ileana's mother at night. Anyway, <laughs> oh, sure the scholars did. took her, imprisoned her, and My drained Lord. her power to the very limits. And worse yet, all of this to destroy her beloved gods. Damn, that's bad. Poor girl. I mean, that's a massive understatement. Indeed. This is why I have taken stewardship of her, so that in time, perhaps she may regain enough strength to live on her own. And if not, I can at least try to shield her from those who would misuse her power. Let us move on. What do you seek? We wish to reclaim our god's power. How can we do that? Ileana holds answers to many questions, yes. But are you worthy of receiving them? And more importantly, are you willing to face your fate in order to learn your future? What? Face our fate? What do you mean? I sense your connection to your gods and their blessing fresh upon your souls. Thus, I judge you worthy of the attempt. However, the Oracle can only guide you to find answers. You may need to face trials to receive what you seek, and these may prove difficult, if not lethal. Hmm. Whatever it is, we're ready to try it. The girl who stood silent and motionless throughout your encounter, steps out from behind her protector and spreads her arms out. The tower opens up before you, revealing a dark chamber inside. The oracle silently gestures for you to enter. As you approach, you have a strange sensation, as if you're about to face yourself in there. Enter. You enter the tower and find yourself walking on the surface of an endless ocean. Beneath your feet, the water is clear and calm. You even see fish swimming in swarms, swerving from side to side. From the depths of the water, there arises a figure, first formed of water, then clearly a warrior clad in armor and seemingly ready for combat. It is none other than Mokosh. Well, based on what we know of Mother Mokosh, I do not feel that she is combative in nature. Stay calm and speak. Mother of all life, guardian of our fear. Please hear us and guide us to restore your earthly power. Now, I've not, I've not actually done Mokosh's divine quest before. I don't think so. I don't really know whether which of these is right. 
Most of them come down to a case of you can fight or you can try to puzzle it out or be social about it, etc., etc. And uh, not all are the same way. It's not always fight and it's not always social. But for Mokosh, I think not being aggressive would be the right way to go. Mokosh, Avatar Guardian and Avatar Guardian. Begin combat. I'm not sure the Avatar Guardians can speak. Well, Mokosh is certainly powerful. Uh, all right. 14 damage. I could use counter-attack. I could use counter-offense, but I don't know what kind of cards they're going to be playing. So... We've got some shields. We've got some support. Let's play someone who can tank a lot of damage first. And then someone who can do a lot of damage behind. Ah, they can, unfortunately. Okay. But they're not particularly high level, but we haven't got the attraction that, that we would need here. We can support our allies, though. Our question is, is it better to take away cards? Or not? A difficult one, to be sure. Uh, most of the people who, who can take our counter tactics are also ones that could make our, our cards very powerful. And we have an advantage in that we can play our cards earlier. We've got no... Yeah, we don't really have attraction, which is a rough one for us. Let's get you in place. And then... I'm going to have to support them as I go. Because unfortunately, otherwise, I don't... I, I won't be able to drive them to um, get first turn. There's you go. Now well, you might actually get taken out, unfortunately. Oh, damn it. Uh, Alright. Oh, that's fine. Some more cards in play. Now, the Avatar Guardians are going to be difficult for us to get through, but it's not important. Uh, it's not impossible. This is not an impossible one. Let's confuse some of you. Right, so there's going to be a bit of nastiness to begin with. Oh, thank goodness you attacked the right direction. All done. Nope, wrong direction. I mean, it's okay. We have to get through them, but... <laughs> Good run, Charlie. Right, there we go. Well done. And we have this. Okay. Player's turn. Good, good, good. We're going to win this one simply because we had more numbers. All it came down to for us. Uh, let's confuse that one then. And then just buff up our attack significantly. So we can take out the other card as well in the first turn. Uh, there we go. There we are. Kindness is not always wise. Words are not the best of weapons in times of terror. And yet you have remained calm and approached me with respect, like a child should its elder. I am pleased with your growth, my young ones. Now go to the cradle of life. Plant these seeds I now give you, and when faced with the ghosts that haunt that place still, use my blessing to banish them and cleanse their souls. There we go. So, speaking was the right choice. We've gotten some poppy seeds. And massive blessings of will and speech. Oh my goodness. And Shan, Liam, Kijkun, and Isham are all permanently more willful. We will do as you command. Not far away either. Wow. Okay. Not bad at all. All right. Uh, well... A couple of things that we could do around here. The enchanted bone over there, place to see. But no, I think we're going to go straight to uh, deal with Mokosh's request. Or demand, I guess. Uh, right. Let's... What are you? Deformed, bat, ravenous crow, two others. We'll get rid of you. Go hunting. Be a super easy one, this. 
scarcely any anything we need to do here. Uh, you're already dead. And I'll take out counter offense. I'll just take out that card. And then boost you to be able to kill the card on this turn. There we go. One down, two down. Oh, what's these? Pierogi. Traditional dumplings filled with whatever is available. Simple to make and very filling. Good. Take the loot and continue. Nice. Uh, let's get rid of these. But first, what is it? Always check for Spider Queen and six militia spiders. Not something that's going to be difficult for us to deal with. Uh, we'll go with the sickness one this time, I think. We're actually very good at sickness. Like, I... I I keep thinking, oh, yeah, I mean, we shouldn't. But no, no, we absolutely should. We're amazing at sickness challenges. Uh, we don't have counter offense, though, which is a bit of a shame. But we do have counter tactics, so let's get rid of those cards. There we go. Now, you can take out either one of these, depending on which one you want to go for, though. It'll make things easier for me or worse. Uh, do I have anyone who can get a first turn in? Yes. Let's get you first action. There we go. And then we've already won. No one is going to even work up a sweat. There we go. And there we go. Uh, that one's not a bad one because it's got sturdiness and armor, so we'll keep that one. Alright. Uh, we... Got some wood there. We can make our way down towards the Divine Quest. But that's where we're going to have to wrap up this episode. Oh, my Lord. The last couple of episodes have been super long. But because I'm getting so into the game. But I'm afraid it is that time. So until next time. And as always. Not and always. Do take care.